Hey guys, it's Kesmir, and I'm back with 400 days. Uh, that last one was a ride. Uh, see what Russell's story is. Not 100% sure on all the choices I've been making, but I'm just rolling with it at, at this point after all, all of season one. Hundred eighty four days in. Ah, I missed the days of taking shortcuts. Hey, you getting up? Good. I should probably hurry. Go. Oh. She's got one headlight. Well, this is fucking stupid. just killed you. You're either stupid as fuck or you think you're tough shit. <laughs> Both, I guess. I don't want no trouble. Please. Standing out here like this ain't gonna get you nothing but trouble. Just leave me alone, please. I'm not hurting no one. How do I know that? Maybe you're just walking this highway looking for some tail. You're gonna end up hurting somebody. Maybe killing you right now does our troubled country some good. But honestly, I ain't no do-gooder. I'm gonna let you live. Okay. So you have some balls on you just standing there like that. You get killed eventually. Ain't none of my business. I won't. What's your name? Russell. So you didn't steal that bag. I don't care who you steal from, if you did. Maybe you're in a gang that likes to rob people. I don't know. Are you in a crew? You got some boys wearing hoodies I gotta worry about? Because you steal from me and I'll get your throat out. I don't care who you run around with, you understand? I'm not in a gang. It's fucking racist, man. Hey, now, I ain't no racist. I just call them like I see them. Just get in the car. You're gonna get eaten out here otherwise and I'm bored. Come on, scoot. I ain't gonna wait forever. Nah, I'm good. Thanks. I don't want to ride. Jesus. Don't be so damn sensitive. I said I'm good. Fine. Bye. Change your mind? Oh, okay. Hell yeah, get in, let's tear it up. Name's Nate, by the way, thanks for asking. You thirsty? Uh... Here you go. I don't want that shit. This shit? You don't know what you're talking about. I damn near died procuring this. I got half a mind to make you try it. You can't make me do anything. <laughs> okay, tough guy. <laughs> we both know that ain't true, but okay. <laughs> do you some fucking good. You want to tell me about where you come from at least? You must have been with a crew. Any tail back where you come from? Maybe drop you off, do a double back. No, uh, tail. Damn. I retract my question. There was a girl who I liked, all right? The argument's semantics, Russ. Give a pal the deets. All right. There were seven of us. I didn't have any family there, no. 
They're all my grands down in Statesboro. There was a dad who had a daughter about my age. One guy said he used to be a cop, but nobody really believed him. And a teacher and his wife. Leader was this guy, Steve. Go back to the daughter. Steve was a bad dude, but everybody was with him, you know? He said seven was the magic number, so we didn't add nobody to prove. If we found survivors, it was the same every time. He... He... Let it out, Paco. Just... We gonna kill these folks and take this stuff or what? Then bang! They'd be dead. Anyway, I, I couldn't handle that. After weeks of it, I packed my shit up and figured I could make for grands alone and try to find my family. I slipped out of there. I couldn't live like that. Let out, Paco. So nobody got down with the daughter then? No, they didn't. <laughs> Who would you give her? Strong six. Just tell me something about her. How was the rat? Oh my. Maybe a little something. Just a taste. Russ, I'm doing you a service here. I gotta get my beak wet. I put it right in here. Why you gotta be like that? Like what? Always talking about women like that. Women? <laughs> okay, well, let, let me see if I can answer your question. Because, because the hunger a man's got for a woman is all we got left now. No laws, no jobs, ain't nothing that make us men. But they ain't eating all the women yet. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Let's try this again. All right, maybe someone who wasn't so near and dear to your heart then. What the fuck? Come on, scale of one to ten. What do you think? Ah, slamming before she was rotten, right? What do you think? Here, get a look. Five. He's quite the character. <laughs> this gas station's a popular place. Let's look for some supplies in here. See if we can fill up while we're at it. Don't be mad. Fine, be mad. Just stop being a pussy. I. Oh shit! Go! Get out! Russ! Get the fuck down, man! You don't want to be there! Get to the truck! I'll cover you! You got bullets this time? Don't think about it. Just run. I'll keep his fucking head down. Didn't shoot at all. Good hustle. What happened to I'll cover you? Look how good you did. <laughs> I don't know, man. Fuck, we're screwed. You haven't been shot at in three months? Come on, kid, look at me. This is no big deal. We got this, okay? Okay. First, we're gonna figure out exactly where this asshole is. Just get a quick glance. Get down! He's inside the diner. See? Easy. Now we know where he is, we can fucking get him. All right. Yeah. That's the spirit. Let's push this truck for cover. Okay. It's in neutral. Just keep your head down. Just keep pushing! Shit! 
Shit! Push! Uh, end of the road. What now? We're gonna get around the side of the building. We gotta go from cover to cover. Seriously, this time. Not fucking around. You gonna cover me? If we get to that car, we'll be out of the line of fire. Here. You can cover me first. I'm not fucking around. You cover me, then I'll cover you. Or if you want to go first, that's fine too. Help me. You go first. Just shoot at the window and keep that fucker's head down till I get where I'm going. Then throw me the gun, and I'll do the same. Ready? Yeah. You ready, Russ? Yeah, I can draw on him. Now. Remember, don't stop shooting. Fire! Get in around back. Sneak up on this asshole. Follow me. This guy's nuts. <laughs> I like him. Man, what are we doing? Well, we gotta get in there. Fucker shot at us. Russell, relax, man. When this is over, we're gonna take what we can, head on down to your grams, and have a big old home cooked meal, all right? I'm sure. Come on. Watch out for that. Watch out for that. We should put it out of its misery. It's fucking dead. Come on. Russ, come on. So I think that's the other cop, the one with the shotgun. Okay, it's clear. Keep your head down and follow me. You got it. All right. We're going to be fucking quiet. We're going to sneak up on this son of a bitch and take him out. You hear me? Not a fucking beep. Let's go. I see him. Check through the window. See if there's anyone else. I think I saw a guy. Monsters! Whoa, oh. Gramps! I told you not to come back here! Think you could just leave your mask at home? And now you're with this fucking spook! Uh. First off, watch the fucking racism. This is my boy. Secondly, I don't fucking know you. We were just passing by like anyone else. Bullshit! You came back to finish us off and take all our food! You've lost your goddamn marbles. She's dying, and now she can see your face. Shut up. We've never been here, sir. Then who shot my wife? Wasn't us. You tried to kill us for no goddamn reason. If anything, we should take you out for that. Please just get the fuck out of here. 
Please leave us alone. What do you say, Russ? Should we just kill these folks and take all their stuff? No. Are you serious? Maybe. Why not? That's fucked up. There are real fucking monsters out there. No shit. And you're just gonna joke about the shit I see. Fuck you, Nate. I saved your ass. You didn't do shit. Easy, Russ. I'm not hurting no one. And don't you hurt these people either. Come on. Can we still be friends? No. I'll like you on Facebook. <laughs> oh, the poor old people. And she was the one eating the puppy in the back. Man, when the world goes down the toilet, it really goes down. Alright, we got one more to do, guys. So we're going to end this one here. Like, comment, subscribe. We'll see you in the next one. Kesmir out.